I am Elliot Block, Research Fellow with Arm & Hammer Animal Nutrition. One is to maintain feed intake prepartum to get the cows off to a great start with increasing dry matter intake rapidly postpartum. Second aspect has to do with keeping the cows hydrated in hot weather. Cows lose, as most animals, lose a lot of potassium through sweat, saliva, not just in heat stress periods, but all throughout the year, these high producing early lactation cows lose excessive amounts of potassium which need to be replaced. DCAD balancing will help them achieve their hydration state so that they can maintain productivity throughout that period. You also have the aspect of metabolic diseases and reducing the incidence of metabolic disease during that critical post-fresh phase. Research has proven time and time again that you can keep those disorders in check when you have a properly balanced DCAD. One of the last aspects that's extremely important is to help support milk fat production. There's been a lot of research that has been published recently showing how the potassium portion of DCAD actually improves and helps support uh, milk fat production. It's very much a pre and postpartum phenomenon. We need that negative DCAD prepartum, the positive DCAD postpartum, again, to help you with your key outcomes of reducing metabolic disease, maintaining feed intake, and high milk production with a high production of components. Number one, it's a very consistent product. You know that the DCAD value in the BioClore is going to be consistent year in, year out. From the standpoint of metabolizable protein, it, has, it is the only formulated source of negative DCAD that has enough metabolizable protein that it can be used as your principal protein source in the prepartum ration. It's also been shown to reduce the metabolic diseases or disorders uh, that we see on the farms and it keeps the cows eating during that prepartum period. One is that SQA10 has slightly higher sodium content than classical sodium bicarbonate, so it allows you to achieve a higher DCAD faster or for a smaller addition to the diet than using sodium bicarbonate. The DCAD Plus uh, it's formulated so that it's a non-heat forming substance. It doesn't heat when it's hydrated. The risks of having overheating and rations from the hydration of potassium in generic potassium carbonate uh, is much significantly reduced. Those two sources, SQA10 and DCAD Plus, are excellent for raising the DCAD, the positive portion of the DCAD, because they don't have chlorides and sulfates associated with them, which would put downward pressure on the DCAD number. The other issue is consistency, and both products are extremely consistent. They're pretty close to pure chemicals, and the, the amount of potassium or sodium in them does not vary. <laughs>